Hey guys, this is Dr. Bloxham again from uh, Feller and Bloxham Hair Transplant Surgery. And I wanted to make a short video today to um, address the most interesting question I have ever been asked in all my years on the forums and uh, the time I've spent doing consultations both in emails and uh, in our clinic. And it actually came from a patient who uh, came in recently. He came in for a standard uh, hair transplant consult. Uh, he was a gentleman that had androgenic alopecia, which is a, a fancy way of, of saying male pattern hair loss or male pattern baldness. But what this patient wanted to know is if we were to perform a hair transplant procedure on him and move hair from the thinning region, uh, excuse me, move hair from the donor region in the back to the thinning region in the front of the scalp, and he were to develop cancer down the road and needed uh, cancer treatment, specifically chemotherapy, would the transplanted hair thin and would it come back? Um, and to my knowledge, this patient, you know, I asked him about it, didn't have a, a family history of cancer, um, had never had cancer before, didn't really have any obvious risk factors, you know, he wasn't a smoker, wasn't a big drinker, um, generally took care of himself, but this was something that concerned him, and, uh, you know, very interesting and kind of caught me off guard, which is always, is always fun. Um, and what we told him was that the, um, you know, process that, that causes hair loss um, from chemotherapy from cancer treatments versus hair loss um, from other things like uh, androgenic alopecia like I was saying before male pattern hair loss is much different um, the the alopecia or the hair loss you get from cancer therapy is something actually called uh, antigen effluvium and again a very fancy way of basically saying that these uh, chemotherapy the, the cancer drug agents they give you um, to fight the cancer cells. The way they work is that they attack cells that are dividing very rapidly. The reason why this works, um, thankfully, in, in many cancer treatments is because cancer cells uh, divide very rapidly. That's how you know tumors develop and that's how cancer spread is that these, these cells that have abnormalities, these cancer cells, are able to grow and divide very rapidly. So these drugs uh, target cells that do that cells that, that have very rapid turnover like this include cancer cells. Um, they also include cells that line our stomach and intestines and um, also cells in our hair follicles because hair follicles, as uh, some of you probably know, go through a natural cycle and um, this is a cycle of growth, resting, shedding, and they're very active and um, so these, these chemotherapy drugs um, mistakenly uh, target these cells. Generally, the, the hair that you lose um, during a chemotherapy treatment will come back. Um, the follicles are, uh, unlike follicles that are um, you know, affected by androgenic alopecia or a number of other um, different types of alopecia, the hair follicles are generally healthy. Um, so they will be you know, kind of shocked into um, a state of, of shedding, um, but it's not a normal state of shedding like you would get with um, your just natural telogen uh, phase of your hair follicle cycle, which is the natural shedding phase where about 10% of your hairs will be shedding. Um, this actually shocks all the follicles into shedding during the antigen phase, during the growth phase, which is why it's called antigen effluvium. And so what this means is that instead of just having periodic shedding, um, you know, almost all of your follicles will just become shocked and shed at once. If they're healthy, like I said before, they'll grow back. Um, so what we told this gentleman is if we take these healthy follicles from the back and transplant them to the front and, uh, you know, they grow and, and are, are, you know, naturally healthy and, and uh, function as we hope they, they would and they generally do in a hair transplant procedure and he were for whatever reason, you know, knock on wood, um, to get cancer and need a chemotherapy that, that we would expect um, that yes, the hairs we transplanted would shed um, along with you know the, the rest of the healthy follicles and the not healthy follicles on his scalp and that um, the follicles in the front that we transplanted would and should come back. Um, so you know there, there it is. I don't know if that question will you know help anyone, hopefully it will. but um, again, it was just so interesting and caught me off guard. Uh, so wanted to you know take a chance to talk about it a little bit. All right, thanks.